What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite box set on the Target exclusive WWE Elite 60th Anniversary Then Now Forever WWE Elite Collection 4-Pack. Huh. That was the first take, actually. I swear to God. That was pretty impressive. All right. But here today, man, we have this four-pack featuring Hulk Hogan, Rocky Maivia, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Becky Lynch. Very interesting pack here. I remember telling you guys about this pack, or I saw this pack, like, leaked out, like an early prototype of this box in this pack. And I remember when I first saw it, I was like, what in the blue hell is this pack. And like, as soon as I saw the names, I was like, okay, I can see what they're going for. It's kind of like a throwback up to current day, kind of the legends of the business and what they mean to it and all this stuff. But it's still a random set, man. It's still a very random set. I think it's because you have like a really throwback Hogan and then you have a throwback Rock and then you have a modern Austin and a modern Becky. And I guess it's like, I don't know. I just, I think maybe the choices of attires and stuff could probably be different, but a lot of reuse, but we do have some new stuff going on here, which is pretty cool. I did not know the cost of of this set. This set is like $89.99, I think. Four elites, 22 bucks an elite times four. Checks out right about that price. Really cool box set, though. It's got like this reflective material on it, as you guys can see. 60th logo, elite collection, all their names at the bottom. Got the same like reflective logo up top. You guys can see how reflective it is. Now, you flip it on the back, you can see like all four different guys. So you got Hulk Hogan, Rocky, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then if you zoom in there, you guys can see a zoom in shot of all four characters there. Now, the figure I'm most looking forward to is the Stone Cold Steve Austin. And you guys have bio reads down here, and it kind of gives like their legendary thesis or whatever the hell you want to say. And at the bottom it says WWE 60th Anniversary. Now be checking your stores because this is actually hitting retail. You definitely need to go try and find it. But I'm excited to review it here today, man. We have some new stuff going on. We have some old stuff going on. But we won't know anything about it unless we crack it out of the packaging and find out what these figures are about. But let's shut the hell up, crack them out of their packaging, and see what we got out of this WWE 60th Anniversary Then Now Forever box set. Alright guys, so here's everything out of the four-pack. Hogan, Rock, Austin, and Becky Lynch. Now, I have a few things I like about the set, but I have some things I don't like about the set. I mean, I don't know, like, it's an interesting set for sure, but, like, at the first glance, I'm just not, like, over the moon about it. And the figure I was most excited for, I'm kind of disappointed in, and we'll kind of, you know, dive into all those things and everything like that. But, no, let's, man, let's take a look at the Hulk Hogan figure. And, I mean, this is pretty much an elite version of what we saw out of his Ultimate Edition. You do get the American Made shirt, which is really cool. And, you know, Hulk Hogan was one of those guys that I've never just been over the moon about. I've never been a huge fan of him, but I've always been intrigued with him, you know? Like, I like how over the top he is and the charisma and stuff like that, and I've always loved WCW Hulk Hogan and the NWO, and then when he came back to WWE in the early 2000s. And so all these Hulk Hogan figures, well, like, they can get annoying. You guys know that I love repeat characters, so it doesn't bother me as much, and but we have another Hulk Hogan here, which has a good head sculpt, and it also comes with an interchangeable head sculpt here, so you get this, like, pissed off. I'm pretty sure both of these came with the Ultimate Edition as well, but now right here we have the WWF Championship from 1984. They refer to this as the 84 look or like the 84 title is what this is known as, but it looks really good. I do believe we've seen this mold before in the Coliseum collection, but now it's in the correct paint job, so I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this. And it inclu it's included in this pack, so it's kind of cool to celebrate 60 years. You get to see the old WWF Championship fits in on the shelf. I mean, Mattel has knocked out so many damn championships, and to add this one is really cool. It looks good, everything like that. You got the thin green strap in there but underneath I mean this is the exact same Hulk Hogan we've seen quite a few times he's got the yellow trunks red knee pads yellow boots you guys know how it is white wrist tape I mean this is a run-of-the-mill Hulk Hogan it's not anything that's gonna shatter the earth I'm not even gonna do comparisons because this figure is legitimately a figure we've seen a lot of we saw the Survivor Series Elite we saw the Elite 96 we saw the two-pack Mega Powers we have seen a lot of this figure and you guys know that we saw like what 12 or 13 more Hogan's revealed at San Diego Comic Con so yeah, man, it's just another one of those one of those Hogan's. But we get the we get a couple of accessories that can fix up other Hogan's, right? The eighty four title, the American made shirt. He comes with fists, mic holding hands, and the pointing like you shut the hell up, brother. What the hell are you doing? You know, like pointing fingers. So no pub of the crowd or you know like listening to the crowd hand, but that's pretty cool there. Also check out the Theo Von podcast with Hulk Hogan. That was a pretty interesting listen. I listened to that this morning actually. It was pretty good. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check that out. I I got a kick out of it. Next up we do have the Rocky Maya Via figure. This is a repeat figure again. We've seen this way back. Target exclusive. Same exact figure. One thing that kind of bums me out is why wouldn't they 
wait, why didn't they just do this figure but the black gear, right? Isn't there a version of this where, like, there's black? It's black everything except, like, like the designs are there, but everything's black. So you'd still have the teal and the blue coming through. I feel like they could have easily done that, but pretty much the exact same figure. He's got his entrance garb in there. This seems to be better, though. I'm pretty sure these came off the front, too. Oh, wait, are they tucked behind? Okay. There it is. That makes way more sense now. But you do get the little entrance garb there, which is pretty cool. You guys can see there you got the checkerboard pattern. Very nicely detailed there. It's got like the teeth on there. You guys can see the little tassels are running underneath there. So you pull that to the front. And there you go. This is, I remember owning multiples of this figure. Because I was going to, I actually still own mo multiples of it. But I was going to turn one of them into like the black attire like this. But never got around to it. And now this would have been a perfect opportunity to repaint this and make it into the black gear. Because it could have easily just been that. But you get the double jointed arms, the blue tape, blue elbow pads, blue knee pads, white look. You know, this is his debut for Rocky Maivia at Survivor Series 96. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, it's, you know, it's run of the mill. It looks pretty good, though. Nice build to it and everything like that. All the joints and stuff feel good on it as well, but it is just a repaint figure there. And then he comes with fisted hands, mic holding hands, and the Kawhi Leonard ricochet style hands that we discussed. But, yeah, man, I mean... <laughs> This set, yeah, it's just kind of a really weird one, man. But the figure that I was most looking forward to is the Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, he comes with mic holding hands and fisted hands. And we do have this new Austin head sculpt. Now, when we saw this figure way back at WrestleMania weekend at the Superstore and... Not the Superstore, we saw it at the Mattel Design Center. It's a very weird head sculpt. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. You know, it's just kind of an odd look. It's just a weird facial expression. I don't know, like, why you wouldn't discern, like... Like, it definitely looks like Austin, but why not shut the mouth, you know? Like, I, I don't know. The more I look at it the more I don't like it but I feel like he's very loose in the feet and we do have like new legs and stuff going on with this I think it's I don't think it's a new crotch or anything but I think the legs are new and he also comes with this new Austin 316 shirt now one thing I did not know is that it is velcro and it also has the Austin graphic on the back from Wrestlemania 38 so that's pretty wild I did not you know we didn't see this really in any images until recently but it does have the skull graphic on the back for big shows and stuff they'll do like a smoking skull shirt and this one's very badass it looks amazing. However, we've seen Austin 316 shirt. I wish it was no Velcro, but I'll still take it. He's got the black wrist tape. This is from his matchup with Kevin Owens, but the dry brushing here looks good. I just feel like his legs are so damn loose, man. He is on ball joints, which is good, but I also think it made him too short, but the dry brush detail here on the shorts looks really good. I do like that, and the scope looks nice. And then he does have his knee pads and his knee braces, which is good. He's got his tattoo and his boots. But I just feel like this figure doesn't stand the best. It's, like, very loose. And I don't know. I'm pretty damn disappointed in this figure, man. I was looking forward to this figure so much. And it just seems like he's short, man. Let me see if I can grab an Austin for some comparisons. I didn't get him down just because I'm moving, so it's kind of difficult. But I'll see what I can do. All right, so here's our first Hall of Fame Elite up next to this Austin. And you guys can see it's definitely new here. They did give him ball joints, though. But I guess, I guess the height's not bad. Maybe it's a hair shorter than that one. But look how much better the Ultimate Edition head sculpt looks. The head shape's perfect. That's something that people struggle with with Stone Cold Steve Austin usually. But this likeness right here, you're not beating that. But we also have the Ultimate Edition here. He need, he desperately needs a new Ultimate Edition. They made this one way too skinny. Yeah, I feel like the Ultimate Edition's height is much more accurate. I think it's just that leg mold they use. Because this is more accurate to Austin, I think. He's about 6'2". And then you have the Royal Rumble Elite right here, which is badass as well. And I think that one's also... So yeah, the... The shorts molds are definitely too short. God, that bums me the hell out, man. As one of my favorites of all time, like, God, you gotta get Austin right. You gotta get him right, man. You can't just have him out here being all short king stuff, man. He's supposed to be stumping mud holes in people's asses. He'd be doing that if he's 5'6". Not that people that are 5'6 can't stump mud holes, but not Stone Cold Steve Stone Cold Steve Austin is at 5'6", okay? I'll never, like, one thing that pisses me off, I, I just have to rant about this for a second. Just just bear with me and just listen. I think I've told you guys this story before, but back on the Ringside Collectibles, like Cyber Monday sale or something like that, like Black Friday. They had the WrestleMania 38 Elite Austin. You know, the double jointed, his last match ever Elite figure. They had him up for like $5 a piece. And I should have bought 12 of them. And I didn't buy any. And now, I have a bunch of the Royal Rumble that are single-jointed with the arms and everything like that. That figure had a better head sculpt, double-jointed arms, even though they're probably a little bit too small, you know. Double-jointed arms, good head sculpt, very cheap, and here I am. God! Like, dude, he needs a new ultimate. New formula. They need to give him the cane treatment. Like, really unique pieces all the way from top to bottom and fix him. 
That's what I really, really want to see for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Dude, I cannot believe that, man. That pisses me off because this, this figure was supposed to be like one of my fig figures that I was so excited about because I thought that like this is going to be like a figure I could customize and do all that stuff with. Now nah, I don't even want to look at him. And last but not least, we do have Becky Lynch here. I call this Lady Gaga Becky Lynch. You know, she just looks like Lady Gaga at a concert or something. Do some sort of devil worshipping nonsense. You got the fisted hands and the mic holding hands, but she's got this like black dress deal going on, which is pretty cool. It's got like this tooling on it or like this what the hell do you even call this but it's like a dress material it almost made me vomit i didn't like the texture but she's got these nice shoulder pads in here she does have this mask as well that's removable she's got like her unique look here with the bangs and everything becky lynch was a head sculpt they could not get right for a long time she got double jointed arms in there the mask off. let me take this shish off what is all this i don't remember what match this is from off the top of my dome but you guys know we've gotten a few Becky Lynch's lately. I mean, dude, this is, in all honesty, this is pretty much a repaint of her Survivor Series Elite or whatever. I mean, this is pretty much, like, look, knee pad mode, like her Scarlet Witch attire or whatever. It's got the black and everything like that. The basic boots for the women, man, every single time. Really wish they'd fix that. Got the black and the, the you know, the netting and stuff like that. Very interesting haircut on there, but, you know, it gets the job done, I guess. Like, the likeness is there for Becky, but I don't know. Not my favorite Becky Lynch for sure. And God, I hate these basic feet. I can't stand that garbage. But anyways, that's your Becky Lynch figure. I mean, you guys can see here. It's like black and stripes and just... Oh. Anyways, before we get out of here, I gotta rank this set, man. Like, you know I gotta rank this set. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Coming into this pack, I was very excited for the Austin figure. Now I'm really not excited for it. I'm kind of disappointed in, like, this whole entire deal. Like, damn. Ugh. Like, man. So much potential. I'm just not that excited for it after unboxing it. And, like, I usually, like, once I get done with a review, I'm like, yeah. But I don't know, man. I'd say wait for the clearance. Don't don't pay 84 or whatever the hell I pay for this. Just just wait on it, man. Unless you're just like a big Hogan guy, you know, you want the championship, you want the Austin shirt, like different things. You may be able to get them on the aftermarket for cheaper. You know, like getting this title. I mean, this title is probably going to be like $30, $40 aftermarket just because. If this is going to be $30, $40 aftermarket just for this championship, just go ahead and buy the whole pack and sell everything individually probably. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to give you my best case and everything like that. Also, like, you do get some cool things going on with this, but I'm very disappointed in the pack. I, I, I guess let's rank this set now. Let's go ahead and move them. All right, man, so coming into the bottom of the set, I went with Becky Lynch. It's not my favorite iteration of Becky Lynch. God, why is the damn, like, what is up with the brightness in this? And then it's too exposed. All these weird-ass colors. But Becky Lynch is at the bottom. It's just not my favorite look of Becky. A very unique look. I just don't like that. I don't know. I just am not big on the execution of it. And also... The basic boots are really annoying me at this juncture. Next up, we have the Rocky Maivia figure. Very good figure, you know, but we've seen this exact figure. It's just the exact same Target exclusive. I really wish they would have done a repaint. Like, do the repaint in the black. I understand that they're trying to do, like, his debut probably, but could have easily gotten the same effect without having this. Because it still would have been then, you know? I don't know. Really wish they would have repainted it. Nonetheless, it's still a solid figure. I just didn't want the same exact figure over again. Coming in at number two is going to be Hogan. And then coming in at number one is is gonna be Austin and I know like you could really like switch these out I guess because really Hulk Hogan's a much better representation of him than it is of Austin but we've seen this figure so many damn times before we do get the championship in the shirt though but we do get this shirt and I hate the formula here and how loose it feels and the head sculpt's not that good like how how effed up is it that I've been complaining about this figure and then it's the number one figure. Now that I think about it, I like the Becky more than Rocky. I like the Becky more than Rocky. Like, dude. Yeah, just I'm I'm just disappointed in this set overall. I, I I just I don't know. When's the last time I've been this hard on a set? I don't even remember, man. But let me know what you think about this set down in the comment section below, man. But that is going to wrap this video up. Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout out to those guys. I always appreciate those guys for their continued support. Thank you guys so very much. Love you all so much. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, click the link in the description below. But I am not really a big fan of this set. No, don't like it. Sick packaging. If you're gonna buy this, keep it mint on card probably. I don't know. Wait for clearance. Wait for clearance. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys later. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. We'll never